Hey, it's Alan. Welcome back. Well, we finally got some data into a database table. Uh, we blew it up by putting in a, a date that was out of range of SQL accepted dates. So we need to put a little validation in here to uh, prevent that sort of thing. Now, if you're used to using the Razor uh, data annotations for that, that's fine. You can do it that way. I just want to keep my code to a bare minimum. So I'm just going to do it right in the HTML. So on the video add page in the input for the date publish field, we just need to add min and max dates. Those can be any dates within the range of acceptable SQL dates. I'll just pick some out of a hat to use as a working example. Obviously, you can use whatever dates are appropriate for your app in this situation. The syntax is a little odd in HTML, though you have to use um, year first and then uh, month and day, and you use hyphens to separate the components. Now you might also think, you know, I'll throw a default value in there so it's not that weird looking date. And as soon as you start putting in a value for this thing, you get uh, the infamous red squiggles, and it's saying that you can't use value in this HTML tag because this app bind is already playing that role. So ixnay on the adding the value. But no biggie because we can just set defaults in the code as the uh, form is being rendered. So uh, for that, we'll go down to the at code section where the C sharp code lives outside of the HTML. There we create a new empty video object named video. Video video equal new video. And now we can create a method that executes as the page is opening or you know, as it's being sent or rendered, or however you want to look at it. But within there, we want to set our, well, let me put in a comment here so later we, we remember what this is about. It executes, you know, as the page is loading, so to speak, and you can use it to set default values in the page. So we already created an empty video object, so let's create a date time variable, and we'll call it default date. That's just a name I made up, equals new date time. And you can use any date as a default. I'll just pick something like uh, the year 2000, December 31. And that actually will look like a little placeholder in the, uh, in the data entry field. All right, so then the video we just created, its date published attribute will be equal to that default date. And now since this is a brand new video being entered into the database, we'll assume it's active, meaning nobody's ever deleted it. So I'll just set the video that is active equal to true. All right, so now when the form renders, these default values should show up in the uh, date and uh, is active checkboxes. So we got to run it to see if that's going to play out. So let's close and save and run it. And that should take us to our home page. And again, we need to navigate to slash video add from there. And now we can put in another video. We'll need to give it a title, of course. But you can see those default values are already set. So we can pick the, um, we can just keep the default values or change them, whatever you want to do. Um, this is a, uh, you know, a date box. So it has all this stuff in Chrome, it looks like that. It might look different in another browser. Basically, you can go ahead and uh, set whatever date you want in there. Just don't use that 0001 date, 1992 will work. I'll click Add. It, it didn't blow up. So let's go back to SQL Server Object Explorer and take a look in our table. Uh, don't forget to refresh the table. All right, so uh, databases, open that. Uh, tables, right-click and choose Refresh, and then look at its data. And we should see two rows in there now. And again, the first one looks like it's missing its key, but just click around, that'll probably come in. All right, so there's our two videos that we've put in there so far. So far, so good. So we have a page that'll insert videos. All right, so most of the really unpleasant legwork is done. In the next lessons, we'll uh, flush it out and get to the other aspects of CRUD. All right, see you there.